What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell, God bless all of you. I'd super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. Um, this is a uh, Bible clue reading for a sign of Scorps. This can resonate if you have Scorps in any aspects of any of your charts. Um, don't do the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I did get three messages in as I was meditating on Scorps energy. Um, in the first message, um, we uh, the energy has been so woo like bipolar, up and down, up and down, up and down lately. So um, bear with me. But the first one, all I heard was gunshots, gunshots. That's all I heard. That's pretty serious. So hopefully, I mean, maybe somebody's in the military, maybe somebody's in law enforcement, um, and that's why. Or hopefully it's not a drive-by or like an Assassin's Creed kind of thing. I don't know. Um, that's all I heard was gunshots. Um, you take it how it resonates. And the second one, about a minute later, I heard it big too. I heard run, run. So I strongly feel that maybe some of you guys are in the military or you're in um, uh, law enforcement um, or a drop a possible drive by possibly or maybe like um a hit a hitman energy i mean god i hope not i don't know but i run big so you take it out resonates and then um <clears throat> the third one it was a couple minutes after that i heard a particular scorpio is about to become a very positive influence in a leo's life very soon much needed um information is what i just heard information okay so you take it out resonates um i heard a, a particular scorps is about to become a very positive influence in a leo's life so uh, we have scorps and leo energy um soon i heard very important good information so whoever this scorps is um if it's you uh, connecting with Leo, it sounds like you are going to connect with the Leo and give them uh, be very positive influence in their life um, and give them very good, important information, which is amazing. Um, you could have Scorps in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Haven, Jupiter. Same for the Leo. They could have Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Haven, or Jupiter. You take it out, resonates. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to get them out. So gunshots run and a, a Scorps is about to become a very positive influence in a um, Leo's life. Good informative information, um, positive energy there. And um, yeah, so, okay. All right. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, free general reading. Um, so it's important to only take the messages that resonate. I'm going to try to keep it at 20, but some of the signs I haven't been able to. So I haven't set up Vimeo yet um, I because other people have told me about other platforms. So I'm looking into like Patreon and all the other ones. So um, I'm going to make the best decision for me before I really go with an, um, a site for the extended. The Tower Reverse, the Empress. A particular feminine energy in a Scorpio's life is about to take some serious action. You know it's coming. Some Scorpios, this will be very good for them. Some, this will be negative for them. Okay, so you take it out resonates. Um, I heard um, whoever this resonates with... Um, there's at least two groups of you guys in here. I heard um, a particular femme energy in your life, whoever this is. Um, I heard they're about to take some serious action. Serious action. So it's not um, a little thing. It's serious, serious action. Um, I heard for some of you guys, it's going to be a good tower for you. And for some, it's going to be a bad tower for you. 
because some is going to be positive for you, some is going to be negative. And, you know, tower can go positively or negatively. Um, uh, and it's coming up as tower reverse. So it's a, um, the tower is a life altering event that you, um, you didn't see coming upright, but reverse is a life altering event that you did see coming. So whoever, whatever Scorpius this resonates with, you saw it coming regardless. You saw it coming about this femme energy. You saw it coming. Um, but for some of you guys, it's good. It's good. Um, you knew it was coming, so you knew it was coming, but for some, it's going in your favor, this, whatever act, serious action this, uh, Empress is taking, um, and some is not going to go in your favor, so you take it out, resonates. Um, they're coming off as Empress energy, too, so they're the freaking highest vibration in the Tarot, because we have Page, Knight, King, and Queen, Emperor, Empress, and High Priestess. They're the highest, um, vibration in Tarot, so they are very, very high vib vibrational. No drama, no BS, no he said, she said, uh, they vibe very, very high. Um, very awesome energy to be in and they are upright and um, they possibly could be pregnant possibly or a mother because um, they're coming off very motherly energy and if they're not pregnant or they're not a mother they're just very motherly so you take it out resonates spirit messages you have son of uh, Scorpio Spirit messages you have sign sports. A particular Scorpio masculine is having serious mental health issues right now. Very, very serious. They it is a good chance they will become very serious to himself, himself and possibly others. Oh, God. Whoa. So you take it how it resonates. That's serious. We've had some way serious energy up in here lately. Um, we've had death energy in here and two uh, collective readings and a death energy and Libra's inner, uh, reading. And it's it's gotten it is serious in the collective right now. It is serious. Um, but for whoever this resonates with, um, I heard a Scorpio masculine, uh, whoever this Scorpio masculine is, uh, could be you or somebody you're connected to. I heard um, basically um, is having serious mental health issues right now. And they're, it sounds like they're gonna either bad, so bad right now or going to become so bad that um, it could become a danger to himself and others. So I hope he's not self-harming himself or take it out of somebody else. That's kind of what it's sounding like according to the messages. But you take it out, resonates. That's horrible. I hope somebody gets somebody, um, hope someone gets this Scorpio mask on some help. They have Scorps in the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. I need to look up the Ace of Cups. I mean, Eight of Cups reverse. Listen to your heart about your next course of action. Okay. So this is listening to your heart about your next course of action. So we have Eight of Cups Reverse, Queen of Wands Upright. A particular Scorpio really needs to listen to their intuition and not other people when it comes to one very particular high vibrational feminine energy. They know this person for some really could use important information and for some really is an offer of a wonderful employment opportunity. Okay, so you take it out resonates. Okay. You take it out resonates. Um this is a good one, Scorps, for whom this resonates with. Um, 
this is um, your energy is basically listening to yourself. So your intuition, intuition is basically the little voice inside yourself, which um, says, oh, do this or don't do this or drugs are bad. Don't do drugs or, um, oh, I'm going to go with the crowd anyways and shoot myself up with some meth. I mean, which that's bad intuition, but I'm just saying that's the example. It's a little voice inside of you that basically governs what your choices, the choices you make. Um, that is intuition. Um, but I heard this person is very high vibrational. So they have very strong intuition. Whoever this femme energy is you're dealing with, you've got femme energy all over the place up in your scorps. I'm just saying. Um, but for whom this resonates with, I heard you need to listen to your intuition. So your best reasoning and judgment and thought processes. You, not anybody else, not social pressure, not friends, not frenemies, not family members, not spouses, not anybody else, yourself, um, when it comes to one particular femme energy. I heard some of you guys about important information to give to this femme energy um, that you know they really could use and some about um, an, employ an awesome employment opportunity is what I heard. So you take it out, resonates. They, uh, Eight of Cups Reverse is the you listen to your intuition and the Queen of Wands upright, I think is the femme energy you're dealing with. And for some, you could be the femme energy in the Queen of Wands upright energy um, as well too, taking the action, desire, drive, and motivation towards this feminine energy. Um, you both could be in this energy or it could be you taking the action, desire, drive, and motivation towards the femme energy. Um, if you decide to do that, if that is your choice, you take it out resonates. But there, um, whether this is your energy or the other person's energy, it's coming off as lots of desire, drive, and motivation uh, towards person, place, and situation. I heard the other, the femme energy you're dealing with here is very high vibration. I can't speak. Mercury retrograde. Very high vibrational. So I am think they have lots of desire, drive, and motivation. I'm sure you do too, but they do as well. So um, this could be you, your energy, or their energy is what I'm thinking. You take it out, resonate. Okay, I'll do one more. This isn't looking too bad. I was a little worried about the uh, spirit messages at the beginning. I'm so serious. Um, I was like, because Libras was so heavy last night. So, I mean, Libras was so heavy. So heavy. I mean, we've got a child up in Libras that's addicted to sex, drugs, money, and their body. Um, I strongly feel they might have a secret sex site or only fans or something like that i mean it, it was bad and there was a death up in there i mean it was horrible it was horrible so um this is better just saying someone's about to have a very serious wake-up call is what i just heard someone's about to have a very serious wake-up call so you take it out resonates i heard someone um to be you i'm you having a very serious wake-up call could be about something in this reading. I'm sorry. My daughter made me some coffee this morning. She does it about every morning, and it's amazing. Um, it could be about these. It could be about a spirit message. It could be about something in your own life. You take how it resonates. Five of swords reversed, death reversed. A particular Scorpio was scared to death that something their some their employment situation and some a uh, partner's employment situation was going to end, but it did not. Many blessings are coming to these Scorpios. Know this. It's time to pay it forward. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. Um, I heard um, whoever this resonates with. Um, Scorpio Fem is what I just heard. Scorpio Fem. Okay, so Scorpio Feminine Energy, whoever this resonates with, um, your Scorpio Fem. I heard some of you guys uh, 
For some of you guys, you were worried your employment situation was going to end and some your partner's employment situation was going to end. So your Scorpio femme, no matter whoever this resonates with, if it does resonate with you, your Scorpio femme. But some of you guys, it sounds like you work and some you don't. Some, I heard it was your employment situation you were afraid was going to end and some your partner's. But I heard it, it has not ended. And in fact, you're going to get many blessings, um, I think, of this employment situation, whether it's your partner's employment situation or your employment situation. Um, that heard it's time to pay it forward. So you take it how it resonates. So um, the five of swords reversed is um, no conflict in the situation. I think it's because the employment situation or your partner's employment situation has, didn't end and you, you were scared to death it was, but it didn't. I mean, then death reversed. So um, it didn't end. It didn't end. And there no, was no conflict because it didn't end. So you take it out, resonates. You could be dealing with um, another Scorpio possibly because you, um, you have the death card or that could be your energy. You take it out, resonates. All right, Oracle card time. Oracle card time. Oracle card time. A particular Scorpio is realizing that a Leo is doing something right now in the 3D for very strategic reasons. They are about to step up and help out this Leo in a huge way. Okay, so you take it how it resonates. Um, I heard a particular Scorps, so you take it how it resonates, um, whoever you are, Scorps, if this resonates with you. I heard you're realizing a particular Leo, Leo energy coming in very strong in here, and, and double Scorps energy, just saying, um, that um, a particular Leo in you know, your life in some type of way um, is doing something for a very strategic reason. So whatever they're doing, they're doing it very strategically, and you're realizing they are. Um, I heard you're about to um, help them out, this Leo, whatever, whoever this is that's doing this for a very strategic reason in a huge way. So, you go with your bad self, Scorps, whoever that's resonating with. All Spirit messages you have for questions. A particular Capricorn in a Scorpio's life is about to try to cause a lot of trouble with them. Separate is what I just heard. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. Heard a particular caps. Now you got Capricorn energy in here. A particular caps is trying to um is going to try to basically start some beef or start some trouble or start drama or something. Sounds like something negatively with a um Scorps. Um, now whoever this caps is in your life, it could be a friend, a family member, a coworker, a neighbor, whoever it is, but whoever this caps is, and they could have caps in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Behavior, Jupiter. Um, but I heard um, it best to separate, basically. So separate your energy from that person. Separate your time, your effort, your, your communication away from that person, whoever this caps is in your life. Okay. Benze again, beauty. Um, we have number six and number 45. So number six or number 45 or number six and 45 could be significant to you. So you take it how it resonates in your own life. Benze again, beauty. A particular Scorpio really sees the true beauty of a particular person inside and outside now. They are about to help this person out in huge ways. Some more than one way. Oh, 
Okay, this is beautiful, Scorpus. Whoa, you're, I was really, I told you I was really worried about your reading, but it's actually turning out really great. I heard a particular Scorps, um, whoever you are, um, I heard you really see the beauty of a particular person um, inside and out now. So you see, I'm thinking they're attractive on the outside, but you're seeing, I think, the inner beauty now. Um, it sounds like maybe you didn't in the past, but you do now. Um, and I heard you're uh, about to help this person out in a huge way. And some of you guys are about to help this person out in several huge ways. So we have the beauty card. So um, you're seeing internal beauty and external beauty. I think in the past, you just judge person, place, or situation. Maybe I think they're very attractive, whoever this person is, um, because they have external beauty. So I think you just judged them on their external beauty in the past, but you're seeing the internal beauty now. That's beautiful. Some are about to really invest in skincare products. It will be very beneficial. Okay, I heard some of you guys are about to really invest in skincare products. It will be very beneficial. And yeah, skincare product. Yeah, their skincare is the bomb diggity. I mean, you want to keep yourself. I mean, you can go back and check Libra's reading when I went off basically about this my disgusting feelings about um, this poor child that's obsessed with their looks and making money. And I think they're in some kind of weird sex industry, but. Anyways, um, my disgust on that and um, the comparison between real self-care and obsession with beauty and I mean with um, external beauty and fame. You can go back and check that if you want to, but um, eh. I mean, yes, you should always want to self-care yourself. Always. I mean, your body is yourself. I mean, you want to keep your body up. If you're unhealthy, you can't you can't work, you can't provide for your family, you can't um, provide for your community, you can't be you live your best life. You, I mean, and skincare is part of that too, because skin cancer plays a big role. Um, in you know, cancers, um, some cancers. Just saying, forty five Shakiti transformation. A particular Scorpio is really going through a huge transformation right now. Really seeing things from a different perspective. It's really benefiting them. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. I heard a particular Scorps is really going through a huge transformation right now. Um, it's really um, benefiting them. Um, they're seeing things from a different, you, you, if this is you, you're really seeing different, um, things from a different perspective. So in the past, it sounds like you, um, you only saw it one certain way possibly, or, a one situation, one certain way, but it sounds like now you're seeing it, um, a completely different way and it's really benefiting you. So you take that resonate. Travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. A particular Scorpio is about to learn some very shocking news very soon. It's going to cause them to take swifter action than they thought they were going to in a particular situation. Okay, so you take it out. Resonates. I heard a particular Scorpio is about to learn some shocking news. So some shocking news, whatever shocking news this is in your life, Scorps. And I heard once you learn this shocking news, it's going to cause you to take swifter action than you thought you were going to take. So it sounds like you were going to, you're going to, you were going to take action on person, people, place, or situation. But once you learn this shocking news, whatever it is in your life, it's going to cause you to do it quicker is what it sounds like. Travel, your life purpose involves traveling. Some Scorpios are about to go on the road. Some Scorpios are about to go to jail. And some Scorpios are going to travel with their family more. Okay, so you take it out resonates. That's pretty beautiful, minus the jail energy, but um, I'm sure they probably, most people, I mean, you can get put in jail and not deserve it, but oh. I mean, most, some of those people do deserve it. Just saying, I used to work in a jail. Trust me. I know. 
Um, but anyways, um, for who this resonates with, I heard um, some of you guys are about to go on the road. So it could be for business, it could be for pleasure, or it could be for both. Um, so you'll be traveling, traveling, traveling on the road again, that kind of thing. Um, and some of you guys, um, some Scorpios are about to go to jail. So that's the traveling energy too, traveling to jail. And some prison, and some prison, that's what I just heard. Okay, so some jail, jump, some prison, so you're traveling on the prison bus, you're traveling on the jail bus. Um, and some, you're about to start traveling with your family more. So um, family trips, um, maybe to the beach, maybe to the mountains. Um, I love traveling. I love, love, love traveling. Anybody knows me personally knows that. I love, love, love it. Um, so you go with your bad self. Freedom. You're free to do what you choose. A particular Scorpio is really realizing the importance of freedom, of choice. In all aspects of their life. Okay. I heard a particular Scorps is really realizing the, um, the imperativeness of, um, and the importance of, um, freedom, freedom of choice, basically. I heard in all aspects of your life. So you, I think you're having a wake up call inside yourself. Maybe something's happened in your life, um, where, um, you're realizing the importance of freedom, um, of choice in all aspects of one's life. And absolutely, yes. Um, you know, you should never force anyone to do anything, anytime. Um, you know, I, I'm a, anybody knows I'm an RN, you know, and, um, you know, yes, working as a registered nurse, um, you know, everybody, everybody's job description has certain things you do in your job description. Well, one of the patient rights as a nurse is the right to refuse. And that's just the truth. You can, yes, the doctor can order you a certain diet. They can order you a certain medication. They can order you a certain um, treatment, whatever it is. But you as a patient has the right to refuse it. Um, now, some nurses, they don't agree with that. They don't agree with um, the patient's right to refuse. But it doesn't matter if you agree with the patient's right to refuse. That is their right. And that's what I try to explain to some of the nurses. They don't particularly like that, but it's true. You might not agree with it, but it's their right to refuse. And that's just the truth. Um, and I think another Scorpio is having a huge wake up call about that as well. Um, that it is important and to have freedom in all aspects of one's life. Freedom to choose your partner, freedom to choose your um, career path you want to go down, freedom to choose your, you know, buying your home, whatever home you want to choose, whether you choose to buy a $500,000 home or a $50,000 home, um, freedom to choose whether you want to buy a Geo Metro or a Cadillac Escalade. I mean, I'm just saying, yeah, that's important. Okay. A particular Scorpio is about to cause a very shocking turn of events. It's about to go very positively for this Scorpio and other, and, and one particular feminine energy in her family. About to cause the wheel to go fast. Okay. Well, you go with your bad sales score. Somebody's got exhibited some serious personal power in here. I'll tell you that. That's awesome. Heard a particular Scorps is, um, about to, you Scorps, whoever this is resonating with, um, you are about to, um, cause a shocking turn of events. There was a shocking turn of events in here earlier, but I think it's one you're about to learn of. This one you're about to cause, whoever this resonates with. Um, I heard it's a shocking turn of events that's going to be very positive for you and a particular feminine energy in her family. So whoever this fem energy is, she has a family, but it's going to be very positive for you and um, her family. So you take it out resonates. That's wonderful, my dear. All right, you guys, I hit almost 30, but they just kept coming and it's pretty good reading. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. Hopefully nobody is in the crossfire of assassins or um, um, hitmen or 
bullets with the gunshot um, message just saying. But um, I love you guys. Everybody make wonderful choices, my dear. Um, if you like to donate, all donations are greatly appreciated. It's High Priestess Tarot 5. Links in the description box below. If you like to donate, all donations are greatly appreciated. Single mom, two kids, just saying. Um, there will be a drop down if you decide to donate um, under my link. High Priestess Tarot 5. There will be a drop down after you select your donation amount. Yeah, clear it out. Donation. All right, guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Namaste.